have moved on to the pattern cutting and making the actual door panels. What we did is took our patterns that you saw us make in the first video, you lay those down nice and flat, make sure they don't move, and you use a really sharp pencil. And then we're gonna actually, we went around and traced it, and then we have our door panel. So now with this door panel, what we're doing, this is the preliminary layer. This layer here, let me come over to you. I'm talking real loud, because our, on the first video we did, they said we were too quiet, and also we're trying to make sure we're in the picture as well. But if you look at this panel here, this is our first layer. This push pin's gonna go through here, and we're gonna make one more layer that sandwiches it in so you will not see the push pins. They'll just pop in like a new vehicle. Randy is actually fine tuning this panel. You're gonna put it on the car, take it off the car, you're gonna mark it, you're gonna trim it, you're gonna sand it, and you're gonna make that perfect. You send the panels, your patterns into us and we actually make the panels. You kind of see what we're doing. For any of you guys that are Good with your hands and like to be creative and make stuff this is kind of a good way for you to be able to make your own door panels then you could also send those in and we just have to wrap them and make them look good we purchase wood, we get it so we have some with the grain that bends this way and some that it bends this way now that you're doing your panel this panel has to wrap around a curve like this so you want to make sure the bend goes this way Start really sharp with a pencil go around trim it exact and then we're going to test fit it and we want to make sure we get that curve so those guys are just arguing of who's the funny one and who's the dorky one. This is the first layer of this door panel. We're just getting it rough fit, putting in all of our pins so that the door panel could just pop on and off. Once this is done, we're gonna remove this panel and then make one just like it and sandwich those pins in between. You can see here, Ian is actually making the rear bulkhead and even though i just told him to make sure it goes against the curve he has it sideways in the wood <laughs> will it fit yes it fits perfect okay so you see here randy did a good job this door panel is this is the inner part of the door panel it's all made has the push pins in so this could just pop in like a new vehicle now we are going to laminate it to another piece of wood and then this will end up being a blind door panel. Pop on, you won't see any of the fasteners. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's already dry. <laughs> okay, so Randy's gonna go trim this up now. We're just gonna upholster it. We're gonna put some black diamonds on it. Let's see the final test fit before we get to upholster this door panel. See, it's like a blank canvas. So we get the door panel fit. Now that we have the door panels done, we could do quarter panels, bulkhead, and kick panels. We're getting ready to make our patterns. One thing we always do is you want to paint your panel when it's in the car, I forgot to say this, and figure out what is your horizon point. You want to make sure if you're putting pleats in it, vertical pleats, and you put your pleats in and your door panels are like this or like this, and you put vertical pleats in it, it's gonna look awkward going around or going from kick panel to door panel to quarter panel. You wanna make sure that it all looks nice with that same horizon. We're doing diamonds. Diamonds are very popular, I'll show you. At the same time we're doing the diamonds for this Model A, we're doing diamonds for a Toyota Tundra, we're doing diamonds for a Jeep Wrangler, Diamonds are very popular. They're cool looking. They have, a, I don't know, they just have a special look about them. You can put them in older cars and they look still retro and vintage looking and you can put them in new vehicles and they look modern, but they're really cool. When we're doing diamonds, you'll notice small door panel, big piece of material. You always want to make your panel bigger than your actual piece that you're doing. We're going to start stitching our diamonds on it and we're using a half inch sew foam. Every time you stitch across this into the foam, it shrinks the material a little bit. If you're doing vertical pleats, it's not as bad unless they're really close. If you do a lot of vertical pleats really close, it's gonna shrink it this way. If you do wide ones, it doesn't really affect it that much, but diamonds will shrink it in every direction. You actually took your pattern that you're gonna use, made it like this, and then tried to put it on here. It'd be too small, it wouldn't fit the panel. Enough said, we are going to go in and make our diamonds. All right, diamonds are all set. We have them marked out, ready to be sewn. We need half inch sew foam. 
Okay, now we have half inch sew foam, so we are going to start sewing. Let's sew some diamonds. sewn up. I ended up putting a smooth piece on top because I feel that too much diamonds on a door panel just are too much. This way it'll break it up with some smooth. Now we're going to put it together and test fit it. Okay, so now we can go test fit it and fingers crossed it looks good. It fits good. Randy has the honors of putting the door panel on. So the test fits pretty good. We're gonna put a little flap over the door handle area there and pull it a little tighter. All right, before we go upstairs and clean up this door panel, there's a few minor things I wanna adjust on it and then we're gonna put it back on. I wanted to actually thank everybody. Our whole team wants to thank you guys for watching our videos. We have some pretty cool videos, hopefully cool, cool to us because we're just car guys, we're not video guys, but we have like a tea bucket we're gonna be uh, showing a video on. We have a 68 Camaro, plus some really cool stuff. We've got the 41 Chevy kind of like over there that you can't see. We we're gonna do a lot of videos on that. This is a slam truck, it's gonna be cool stuff. And then we're gonna go finish this up. And then once we end this video, the next video is gonna be us we're gonna wrap up the bulkhead, the quarter panels, and the kick panels on this car. And then we're gonna go to actually making the custom seat from scratch, which should be pretty cool. We're doing a nice metal, all steel, tubular steel frame bomber bench seat, which is gonna be really cool on this thing. I just went and made my adjustments for the door panel. I wanted to put a little flap there. You kind of see I put this little flap so now the handle could actually come through. Let me find that something here. So when the door handle comes through, you don't see the black backing from it. I brought the top of the panel up a little bit in a couple areas just to meet the body a little better. Now we're gonna go do our final test fit and hope that this one works. A lot of um, upholstery is fitting and adjusting and making sure everything's perfect because everything has to be perfect before you put it on and your gaps have to be really crisp. Let's go test this out. Let's go test this out. Shuts pretty good. Now you can see we already started making our templates for the rear panels here. This here is going to go up against here. So now we could actually continue this line. We'll mark this onto our panel, get everything lined up right. We're going to mark this on our panel. This way we could flow right around the back of the car. We are trying something a little different this time. We usually don't do a Q&A and ask question, or answer questions. However, we had a couple of people ask us about what type of media they should use when making their interior to send to us. Also, why we choose what we choose. Obviously, one of the first most important things is budget. We find the eighth inch Luan is a good bang for its buck. It's very forgiving. And if you mess up to repair it or change it, it's not that expensive. When we start using aluminum or fiberglass, or even some of the ABS plastics, it gets quite expensive. If you mess up throwing it away, it kind of hurts sometimes. We recommend a lot of guys use the eighth inch Luan or Poplar for making your panels. It is brittle, Poplar is very, very brittle. Uh, Luan, if you overbend it, can crack on you. However, like I said, if you make a mistake, throw it away and just get a new one and it's not expensive. We don't recommend using hardboard. It's kind of like a harder uh, cardboard that has a tendency to really absorb water and wick and it's not really forgiving, it's not really strong. So we always recommend some sort of wood. When we do it on a higher end vehicle, we might use an aluminum. The aluminum's lightweight. It's a lot more difficult to work with. You have sharp edge, different tools you have to use. Uh, when we make composite panels and actually make them out of fiberglass, we mold them, we sand them, we body work them. That gets very time consuming and gets very labor intense and very expensive. Also, when we're doing a higher end vehicle, we'll use a hard media to make our panels. 
but well, actually a lot of times body work that panel so it fits completely perfect and it's just laser sharp edges and everything's fitted really well. And then we'll actually put our material, whether it be leather, vinyl, or cloth, right to that with no foam. This allows it to kind of look exactly the way it looks. And when you put it on, it has a show quality, perfect look to it. It is a little bit harder. So those of you who like a nice, soft feeling interior, an upholstered foam interior is gonna give you more of that cushiness. But a lot of times when you're looking for high end, you want a kind of a firm, perfect look about it. Hopefully this helps out with answering your questions. Please ask us more questions. We know it, we'll, we'll, we'll share our knowledge with you and we really appreciate you guys watching.